When you're watching Pep City in full flow, it's like seeing a great conductor. <laughs> Just leading this orchestra through a crescendo. It was an inspiration since I was eight years old. Being in the environment I was in with Pep helped me. Els entrenadors o, o han anat a Guardiola o han anat o han sigut com un anti-Guardiola. We all know that Ian Everett has taken a lot of inspiration from managers like Pep Guardiola. I think Pep is real pioneer of the game. He's opened a lot of eyes to what stereotypical opinions of what English football would be about. So obviously, like, when he arrived, he had these difficulties. Would it help, do you think, to defend better if you kept a one shape, one system? Guardiola's got to get a grip. This is the English Premier League. You need to change what you do. In order to get results, would you sacrifice that? Impossible. It's impossible. And Aguero's been found, and the goalkeeper's come off his line, and Aguero... ...goes for elevation and achieves perfection. There's real hunger inside you. They love this game. Guardiola indulged in the most joyous of fist pumps, as if to say, look, this philosophy works. Pep, you changed football. The influence of Pep has been immense. It changed the way we understand the football. It just makes football look easy. I think everyone who has worked with Pep has learned just another philosophy of football. The power of an idea of playing football and how it can go way beyond like a football pitch. He's an innovator because he brought a new way of doing football across different countries. What we see obviously with Pep in some ways like the purest form of this possession football. You're seeing the pepification of world football and now English football. And then at the end, everyone in the auditorium, in the ground, standing and applauding. And also slightly breathless by the joy of the whole event.